What's up, Clanners? This is Ezel Dog from Red Hot Heat here with the Red Hot Replays installment number two. This is Red Hot Replays, replays for the rest of us, uh, regular players who are trying to be successful with their three star attacks when they're not in a pro clan with uh, full time uh, guys. This is our second most recent victory. It was a five star victory, our third in a row. We're now on our fourth in a row. That'll be our next video. Here showing you what we did to their bases. Uh, we got all but three of the Town Hall 9s three-starred, and we unfortunately left the Town Hall 10 uh, one-starred, which is too bad. Uh, we had a request on this besides showing some three-stars. Our longest time member, Dinobytes, suggested doing some um, tips on not perfect attacks. So he volunteered to share one of his, which is a one-star, and then we'll show how it gets cleaned up afterwards. But before that, we're going to start with uh, Winshard, who's still loaning me this iPad to um, uh, do videos on. And he did a nice three-star um, hog raid. This base was already scouted one time, and so we knew there was a hole in the base. He knew that the bomb was there, and instead of dropping a giant, he puts in three archers, or three barbarians, one for the bomb, one for the clan troops, and one more to make sure he got all the clan troops. Because that witch kind of looked like an archer from behind, and she hadn't spawned her skeletons yet. So he brings them up top, walks them around, surrounds them with some distracting barbs, surrounds them with wiz wizards, and then to make sure the wizards don't get hit by that valk, puts his king down and just smashes through the witch and everything. Now the hogs are going in from the top to keep the kill squad up there alive so they can clean the base. You may have seen the two giants go in to tank for the hogs a little bit, which lets him delay his heal spells so they can cover these known single bomb spots in the core. The first heal heals the um, pre-heals the single bomb, and the third heal pre-heals the last single bomb. So now the hogs are, are right back up in the green, and they're tearing through the base. The Kill Squad is tearing through the base, and you may have seen two wizards go down on each side uh, for cleanup. You don't know when your raid starts that your Kill Squad is going to live or that all the hogs are going to live, so it's good to pack wizards or minions or goblins or something for cleanup. Uh, my suggestion is count up how many wizards you need for your Kill Squad, like six, and then pack two more. Um, Windshard comes out with eight, and uh, he's able to save the last two for cleanup just as a precaution. Try to be disciplined with your kill squad and don't spam in your wizards and you'll have those ones left over for cleanup. If you're losing the kill, you've got to put them down, but um, see if you can be efficient and save them. Our next attack is coming from Giant. This is a go wipe attack on a Town Hall 9. Usually go wipe attacks are two star attacks and they get a bad rap for that. But Giant and a couple other guys in the clan like K-Smith have developed ways to get three stars out of their go wipes with these uh, lower Town Hall 9s. He's using a Giant to lure the troops. He's going to bring them down here to the side, not to kill in the corner, but just to kill in the open so he doesn't have to face them in the middle of the base. He's got some distraction giants, and his, his wizards and witches are then able to kill those troops. Now just a few wall breakers are going to go in, and then the golems, to get this started. But what you won't see are any jump spells, or raged wall breakers, or anything to get into the core. Giant is packing four heal spells, and this is his strategy. He is just going to let his heroes and pekkas and wizards chop and blast through these weak wall compartments and while they're standing in heels. The golems are in heels, the, the pekkas are in heels, and they're taking so little damage from these underdeveloped defenses uh, that they, when healed, can just take their time and get through the wall and they just tear through the entire base. Usually a go wipe attack bogs down right here when you get to the core and all this stuff on the outside is blasting your troops. In those cases, it's really a good idea to start learning how to use hogs on the back end or balloons on the back end to clean up the base. But again, Giant's not doing that here. We'll fast forward a little bit. Watch how this P.E.K.K.A. up top goes through more and more um, crystal wall on the blue up there. Goes in, gets a wizard tower, chops through more wall, chops through more wall, chops through more wall. And then he gets one more heal spell. And again, while he's under heal and weak defenses, um, he can just go through the wall 
at his own pace. <coughs> Watch here at the end how he goes through two layers of pink. Five chops. One, two, three, and some skeletons, and knees back out. Giant actually did this in the next war, I don't know if we'll show it or not, uh, to another base that had all skull wall, and he didn't even have his barb king. He's just healing and chopping right through him. That's not going to work on every Town Hall 9. Some of them require a different attack style, and that's what Dino tried to bring here on base number 5, where he got the 1 star. And then Hawk Dusk brought the same lava attack uh, for the cleanup. Dino's lava attack is is a one star for two main reasons. The lightning spell misses the CC troops and the queen doesn't activate her ability before she dies. But let's talk about what he does right. He gets one golem to get one air defense, which is the right ratio. His wizards create a funnel. The wall breakers are offset from the golem. They don't get splashed by a, a wizard tower. And now the king is in on the queen. This, though, is a deep clan castle, and by, like we said in the Charles video last war, a deep clan castle shows will make it so that your kill squad is very depleted by the time these troops come out. Dino has nothing left but a bit of a golem and his queen, so he's counting on this lightning spell to take out that clump, and it just misses completely, leaving all those wizards and archers standing. They go up and kill the golemite, now, the Archer Queen could probably take out all or most of that, but what happens is Dino is starting his air raid because he's nervous about time. We've had a lot of 96 and 98% um, one or two stars due to time, so he's trying to get started, but when he takes his eye off the Queen, she's dead in one round of wizard splashes. That troop tray down at the bottom that has that nice life bar for the heroes these days doesn't help you when the queen goes down instantly. So now these balloons are getting swarmed by wizards and their only chance to kill them is with crashing or splashing on them or with these raged pups. And a couple of them do go down, you see the skeletons there. But the pups are distracted by trash buildings and the balloons aren't really on defenses. Uh, so the wizards are going to tear through the rest of this army. Dino doesn't give up. He um, deploys the balloons and lava hounds correctly, good pathing, good deployment, and he's going to destroy every defense in this base. It's just the wizards running around that are holding him back from being able to clean up all the trash in the town hall to get the two or three star. Um, so it came down to, again, the lightning spell and the archer queen power might have saved him uh, from this outcome. Let's go see how Hawk Dusk uh, cleans this up. He's going to use, again, a lava attack. And that's going to be from the same side with one golem. Um, and the, di the main difference is that the lightning spell hits the clump of troops. But there's a couple other interesting things we can talk about. Hawk Dusk does not have his Archer Queen. So how do you deal with not having a hero for war? You either sit out you gem the hero or you try to compensate in some kind of way. If he was without his Barb King, I think that would have been tougher because what's the Barb King's job? The Barb King goes in like a missile and kills the Archer Queen. I've seen some videos where you can use a P.E.K.K.A. for that, but that's a lot of troop space. What is the Archer Queen's job? Uh, damage. She's supposed to destroy these trash buildings, this air defense, and deal with the clan castle troops. So Hawk Dusk adds damage to his kill squad by just raging the whole kill squad with a rage spell. Then the king gets his own rage, so he gets two rages. The wizards and witches are doing more damage faster, and when these clan troops come out, they're more prepared to meet them. But the real key is that the lightning spell hits. And most of these wizards get double tapped, which will kill them. Uh, one wizard emerges, but he's going to be helpful and stand next to a mortar uh, and get splashed by balloons. Um, now, for the rest of the raid, he's down a um, rage spell. So the first set of air defense uh, and, and defenses gets a rage, but down here when the third hound comes in, you would expect a rage right there to push those balloons in. There's the minions for cleanup. Um... He's got three hounds tanking, so the balloons are taking their time, but look what's going to happen when they finally crush that air defense. They're going to go all the way across the base, and the balloons aren't catching up because they're not raged. 
So two hounds pop and the third hound is all alone and he's going to get smashed real quick. Uh, the end of the raid is saved by this rage spell. It covers the archer tower, the air sweeper, the air defense, the crossbow, the Tesla, the other Tesla, and the wizard tower all raged by those balloons. Um, that's a great rage placement would save the end of the raid, but the difference from dinos is the beginning of the raid where the lightning spell hit where it was supposed to. There's a video over on the One Hive Raids YouTube channel, the channel is called One Hive Raids, called How to Use Lightning. And I told Dino about this and I was afraid he would feel insulted because you're telling someone how to use the first spell we ever got in this game. But he went and watched it and came back to the chat and said, oh my god, I've been doing everything wrong for so long. There is a pattern we, we learned from that video to the, um, the, the zap patterns of the lightning spell based on whether it's your first, second, third, fourth, fifth spell in the raid. It gives a different zap pattern and you can use that to aim your lightning and hit those clumps of clan castle troops. The other takeaway from that, again, was watch your Archer Queen's health when wizards are coming at her. You can't watch her from the troop tray. They'll kill her before you can even see the damage, especially a low-level Archer Queen. All right, that's it for this war. We're going to let you know here that in the other war that just ended that we need to catch up on, our first video is going to come from Dragon Slayer, who was the latest Town Hall 7 to 3-star a Town Hall 8, and that'll be the first video in the next replay. Until then, this is Ezeldog from Red Hot Heat with the Red Hot Replays, replays for the rest of us. Thanks for watching.